of course I couldn't resist oh man the day before Thanksgiving this Wednesday November the 22nd I am getting ready to take the Heritage Soft Tail Classic out for an afternoon ride we are off work the temperature is sitting right at about 57 degrees in my area so and it's windy <laughs> my intent was to actually take out one of the road glides uh, but I know how they handle uh, windy conditions uh, sorry about that I was going try to look at the flag there but anyway I want to see what this one does in windy conditions <laughs> should be fun all right let's go well hello YouTube you're riding with Ralph and I am out on the 2023 Harley Davidson Heritage Soft Tail Classic 114 on this Wednesday, November the 22nd. Thanksgiving Eve. Out for a, a beautiful fall ride here. I could not resist. trying to take advantage of these days to get out on two wheels especially when the temperatures are above 50 degrees I think we're sitting uh, right about 57 degrees right now it is fairly windy like I said my intention was to get out on one of the road glides but I wanted to uh, bring this heritage classic out to see how it uh, performs in windy condi conditions here shouldn't be too much traffic think for the most part schools are out today so I shouldn't run up I say I shouldn't run up on any uh, school buses <laughs> during this ride but I'm not gonna count them out And it feels good I have my heated gear I have it plugged in but it's not on I don't have my uh, heated gloves on I actually I have a pair of summer gloves we got a little bit of mesh on the back of the fingers there but I do have them in the bag just in case I need them so far, I'm good. I just realized I wasn't plugged in. My heat gear, that is. Just in case I need it. It's not bad out. So it rained here yesterday in this area. Lots of leaves in my neighborhood. Not too bad on this road. At least they're not in the uh, middle of the road. But I'm still going to keep my eyes peeled. In case you run up on a wet patch of leaves. I 
think this is the win that I've been looking forward to to finally blow all those leaves down off the trees so I don't have to rake every day rake leaves that is off the lawn that's been my job for the past month Man, I am so ready for the holidays. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I cannot wait to pig out. Watch some football. I think it's the Dallas Cowboys and the Washington Commanders on Thanksgiving Day in the NFL and if you have Prime Video or Amazon Prime Video streaming video that is you get to watch Prime NFL football on Prime on Thursday. Woo, yep, it is breezy. And on Friday, Black Friday, I think this will be the first uh, time that there has been an NFL game played on Black Friday. Comment, let me know. Am I right? Am I wrong? At least that's what I heard. It's the first time. But I'll be checking the game's out Thursday and Friday this long holiday weekend has begun for me and I am so glad to be out on two wheels <laughs> oh my goodness it's a little bit damp out here I think for the most part the roads are dry uh, particularly in the shaded areas they're gonna be wet but out here where the Sun is shining brightly the roads are dry so my intentions were just to come out to do a quick ride and I am at my turnaround point where I would be completing heading back and making a quick ride so let me make a u-turn real quick here pull over to the side I think I'm gonna stay out a little bit longer so if I'm going to stay out a little bit longer, let's see something here. Yep, I am going to don uh, my uh, heated gloves. Get these off, and uh, yeah, I feel a little bit of breeze coming through. I don't want them to get too cold, but uh, let's get them on, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back in business. Uh, heated gloves are on and immediately <laughs> the heat is pumping through I have my gloves tucked inside for me it's a little bit easier because this for this jacket this jacket is pretty thick here so uh, I just tuck them inside all right we are all set just turn them hazards off let this traffic go that's coming up behind there we go yep 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 mm -hmm. all right we are off again nice and toasty See 
if I can get this shield down on my helmet. Crosswinds are pretty strong, especially when I come across, come through the roads and I come up on the open field like this. And I can feel it. Not too bad though. The heritage can handle it. Should be good to go when we get back up in these tree lines here. I haven't seen many Christmas decorations out. Or well, maybe I'm uh, not in the neighborhood where they have them up yet. I know in my neighborhood they're putting them up. All right, well, we're turnaround point. I just turned around but like I said I think I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit longer. All right, he's gonna turn there. Good. Now that I have my heated gear actually I have it turned on now to get them fingertips it's kind of like the worst thing when you're out riding and it gets cold. It gets even even gets a little bit chilly, and those fingertips, your fingertips feel feel feels like they're about to fall off. But the rest of your body is quite warm that's why during this time of the riding season at least for me my riding season doesn't quite end Like I said, I try to ride when I can, especially when attempts are in the 50s. And I have the right gear. The right gear definitely makes the difference, it makes the ride enjoyable. Gives me the opportunity to get out and get some two-wheel therapy. Enjoy these fall days. We love the summer. We absolutely love the summer. But with the right gear on, you can learn to love the fall and the winter riding season as well. Here we go, this guy just blew all these leaves out in the road here. Why? <laughs> uh, he turned around and had that look on his face like, uh, sorry. I, I am absolutely having fun riding around out here in these windy conditions. It's kind of like, um, well, <laughs> riding around in windy conditions, anticipating getting blown around. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Oh, as I come <laughs> up on these open fields. Oh, the gust of wind. I'm glad I'm not on a Harley Fat Boy <laughs> with those solid wheels. I, I don't know how much that plays a factor into that, but I, I have spoke wheels on, on this Heritage uh, Classic there. But I've heard <laughs> people say uh, with that Harley Davidson Fat Boy with those solid wheels, uh, the wind, high winds, cross winds will really affect you. Uh, you just adjust for it. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Having a little bit of fun with it. Just out here extending my after work ride. <laughs> nice and toasty. Thank goodness for the guys and girls who invented heated gear. Heated motorcycle riding gear, that is. Man, I'm plugged directly into the bike with my heated gear, but you can, you can get it with battery packs so that you can use them when you're not on a motorcycle. Ah, oh, man, it's so much fun. All right, all right. The long way home. <laughs> This sharp turn, 25 miles an hour. And of course, the GoPro camera does not give it any justice. Love it. Might as well ride until the sun goes down. No work tomorrow. I haven't seen any turkeys running around across the road. I would normally see them out and about, but maybe they got the memo <laughs> to stay out of sight. There's a bunch of wild turkeys that uh, run around in this area. And I believe during hunting season, particularly in this area, you can hunt them. Over in the state forest that is in this area, not out here on these streets. <laughs> I think you would get in trouble for that. I wouldn't try it, so. For all you hunters out there, if that's your thing, go out and uh, catch it yourselves. Woo! <laughs> Those winds! Got the pretty horses out. Ew. Windy! I actually have my visor up. Let me bring it down a little bit. Block some of that wind noise.
man, that guy had his uh, windshield in that truck blacked out. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> I mean, well, I wouldn't be driving it at nighttime, that's for certain. If I did have it blacked out, my windshield blacked out on my truck. I think it's legal in some states. I'm pretty sure Florida, you can do it in Florida. I think. <laughs> oh man. Alright, so I'm about to, to enjoy the rest of this ride for however long I decide I'm going to stay out. If you have that heated gear and you live here in the DC, Maryland, Virginia area or wherever you're at that requires you to have heated gear and you can get out and ride enjoy your ride until next time you are riding with ralph see you